Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to LCL Outdoors. Hey, we appreciate y'all tuning in to hang out here in the garage with us tonight. Hey, we told you a while back when we done our five-part series of our smoking color line that we had a couple more colors we'd bring to you a little bit later. Tonight, we're going to bring you a sixth color of the smoking line to give you guys something new uh, to try out. This color we'll be shooting tonight looks works really well in your bass bait, especially your, your swim baits. Um, outstanding crappie color. Uh, we, we catch a lot of crappie and, and use this color a lot in our swim baits, uh, in our bass line as well. So y'all stick around. We'll get our plastisol dipped out, get it cooked up, bring it up to temperature, get ready to mix. Mix our color up, and we'll meet you back here in just a bit. Appreciate y'all hanging out with us tonight in the garage for a little while while we shoot some soft plastics. We're going to add 60 drops to one cup of Plastisol. Sixty drops to one cup of plastisol is our mixture on this. You guys can see that pretty good. Makes a super nice swim bait color. You can add flake to it tonight. We're just going to shoot it straight, just for demonstration purposes. Give you guys another option. We shoot our crappie baits in this color. We shoot them straight. We don't we don't put any flake or anything in them. Have extremely good luck, and we shoot our swim baits the same way. Occasionally, we will laminate this uh, purple smoke pearl with uh, just a straight white pearl belly, or sometimes even even a clear belly. Uh, looks really 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 nice. We're going to shoot some swim baits in it plain and some crappie uh, baits in it tonight just to show you guys what it looks like. Show you some different options that you can do with it. Uh, in the previous video we, we used the same color on the, the smoke and copper flake uh, that, we, that we shot. Super nice color. Y'all hang around. We'll shoot some baits in it and show you uh, what it looks like in, in the, coming out of the mold. All right, y'all, we're going to fill these molds up. Got, got our six ounce injector. Uh, see how many molds we can get with this. I believe we can get all of them, but I'm not going to say 100% sure. Hey, we'll let these molds set up for just a little bit and meet you back here and we'll get ready to take them out. All right, y'all, we're going to take these out of the mold and show you what we come up with here. Check it out, y'all. It's a purple smoke pearl. Really nice. These are really nice color. That was the two inch crappie slayer uh, epic bait mold, if anybody is wondering. This is the FGF slab slapper. Uh, I really like this bait here. It 
And we shot a swim bait in it so you guys could could see both sides, the crappie and the, the bass side of it. We fish this bait a lot when we're swim bait fishing. Um, rig this up on a little ball head jig and it's deadly. Super nice color. That purple really pops in that. This is a 2.75 little hammer from Angling AI. We've got about a half a cup of Plastisol left. Uh, we're going to show you another option with this same color. Uh, adding some flake to it and show you what it looks like there. Color we shoot some. Uh, if we need a little, need a little, add a little flash to it. We'll meet you back here and we'll get ready to mix up our, our flake in it. Show you uh, the colors that we use. All right, y'all, we're just, we've got a, about a half a cup of plastic left. Uh, we're we're going to mix up half of what we normally would. So we're going to be adding about an eighth of a, about an eighth of a teaspoon of flake to what we've got left here. Just to demonstrate for you guys some, some options you can do to, to really make this color pop. We'll shoot this and show you guys what it looks like. I'm not sure we'll get all three molds, but we'll do the swim bait and the, the two-inch crappie slayer for sure. To make sure we have a couple different options there to show you guys. We'll meet you back here when these are set up. All right, y'all, let's pop these open. See what we come up with here. the color whatsoever all we done was added flake to it you can see the difference it makes I'll give you kind of a comparison there you can see the difference that it makes in that pigment really really nice uh, like I say we shoot we shoot this color a lot of different there's a little endless options that you can do with this color and get different effects out of it. There is the 2.5 little hammer with this out of the same batch. Same exact, same exact recipe, uh, same number of drops, everything you guys saw it come right out of the same cup. All we done was added flake to it and change the looks of it that much. Super nice color. We'll get everything cleaned up, meet you back here and go over a recipe and, and show you the flake that we used and give you guys another option to Add to your arsenal colors, 
uh, tweak it, make it your own, experiment with it. Hey, just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for tuning in, hanging out here in the garage with us while we shoot some soft plastic baits. Just to show you one more, just one more time what we've done here. Uh, just a couple different options that you that you have. Uh, just using the same recipe and altering your colors by by nothing nothing more than than adding flake uh, to your baits. It's uh, lots of different things that you can do there. Uh, and get a lot of different effects out of out of the same cup of plastic saw and just alter it a little bit. Try to get these laid out here right fast and show you one more time with a crappie slayer there. Super nice color. Uh, it's very, very versatile. It's one reason we like to like we we really enjoy shooting the smoke colors. Uh, it's a lot of good thing. Enough of that. We'll get on to to our recipe here. Go over that with you again. We use the purple smoke pearl from MF Manufacturing. Our item number is thirty three fifty eight X two. That's the same pigment that we used whenever we done the the smoke and pearl copper. Uh, the purple smoke copper, I think is what we called it in the video. The flake we added to the to the last half of the, the cup of plastisol, we used uh, 0 0.015 from Lure Works in the color grape. We would normally add a quarter teaspoon per cup. We we were down to a half a cup of plastisol, so we went with an eighth eighth teaspoon. The other we used was a silver. Uh, hologram 0 0.015 uh, also from Lure Works. Eighth of a teaspoon to the half a cup of plastic saw that we mix tonight. Like I say, we normally we would mix a quarter teaspoon per cup of plastic saw. A lot of good options, uh, endless possibilities with the, that smoking line colors. We've got one more color that we do in our smoke line. We'll bring it to you a little later on. Uh, Coming up, though, we all stay tuned and watch watch for our videos coming up uh, real soon. We'll be we'll be doing part two to our green pumpkin candy, giving you another option with it. We'll be doing our color match our, our color match video of the copper truce. Uh, we'll be releasing it real soon. A lot of good content coming your ways. Nothing happens. Uh, we get some editing done. We'll have some, some fishing videos. Appreciate y'all tuning in tonight. Be sure to hit them buttons before you leave out tonight. And we appreciate every one of you that subscribed to the channel. Appreciate all the great comments. We do our best to respond to each one of those. Y'all have anything you'd like to see us do, <clears throat> be sure to, to comment. Let us know. We'll put it on the list and work it in. Uh, Thank y'all for hanging out with us here in the garage tonight. Until next time, thanks for watching LCL Outdoors.